Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Yacht Crafter, and today I have got floss tube for you guys. Um, I've got a new start. Um, I've got a finish. Is it an FFO fully finished object? I think that's what the uh, the abbreviation is, and. Um, I've got an old kit to show you guys that I've uh, picked back up and peppermint purple and other things like that. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you my FFO, my fully finished object. And I have folded this, I've backed it onto some foam board and just used some double-sided um sticky tabs um i think i should have ironed it first but um yeah that's it fully finished and yeah properly finished for the end of the anything mermaid along with um cal so yeah it's uh fully finished and i have it i have it displayed just behind me there's um a set of drawers just there just where you can see my uh thumb and i just have it um stood up on there and yeah i'm really really pleased i absolutely love that stitch so a new one i have started is the snow and sparkle by Darin Jones and this move this thread out of the way and that one as well it's my start so we've got the start of the snowman here there's a bit of a fence and then there's going to be a big Christmas tree here and um yeah black ada and i'm absolutely loving it um i have um my light pad out on the desk and then i have the big clip light down and yeah i'm absolutely loving stitching this and it's a 14 count ada but yeah i am really really enjoying stitching on this one and it's first time i have worked on anything any dark or black fabric and like i say i'm absolutely loving stitching this and like i said the start of a, a little snowman but yeah i'm absolutely loving it i started this one last friday um during Friday gem with Nat and Jacqueline so I'll be joining those ladies again tonight I'll be uh, watching and yeah last Friday it was really really funny it's a, a really good live show put all my bits and pieces in back in the bed So that's that one so my old project that i've picked back up is this one um it was one of the ones that i got from oh i can't remember now it was one of the companies that asked me to do a review and this is Christmas Mouse and as you can see it's a, a Joy Sunday and it's a pre-printed uh, I'll get it out like I say it was an old project so I did some of this on live last night um i did from that line there on the bauble and all those stitches 
all those stitches there so I'm gonna um, put this in my husband's room in the bear cave and yeah stitch on this when we do our craft and chat on a Thursday our live stream let's put this back in and it is on 14 count Ada and like I said it's printed pre-printed and yeah so there's no counting or anything like that um it does come with um the printed pattern it comes with all the fabrics pre-sorted on the card for you and yeah i really did enjoy picking that back up last night uh for the live like i said there's no counting or anything like that so just really easy to pick up and just yeah pull the stitches in or quite a few in my case so peppermint purple we'll start with last year so last year's and the square that i've just done is that one open this up so yeah it was that square there that I've just done and I have got all of those left to do so yeah I'll be uh, coming up to a, another band um, the first band there I just put um, 2020 with some leaves and I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the second band there. Um, if anybody has any ideas or would like to suggest something to put in there, um, yeah, all suggestions greatly appreciated. So yeah, that is last year's. 2020 so that's that one and then we'll get on to this year's I really quite enjoyed um, stitching this one and it's on the edge here I'll just bring it up for you guys to see so it's just the uh, it's the flowers but yeah I really enjoyed doing that one so yeah that's peppermint purple 2021 so, I'm actually pretty pleased that I've been keeping up with that um, I think I only got behind once couple of weeks to catch up um anyway so last but not least i have nearly 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 finished mickey mouse um i just started doing the border this morning so i've done a little bit on it this morning i did um the outline and like i said i just started the border and coming round so i've got these bits to fill in i've got to go around and do this bit and then i've got to go all the way around mickey himself so yeah really cute i like mickey mouse so that is that one in the bag. Whoops. Sorry guys. Didn't mean to uh deafen you all. Um oh and for everybody that has been following my Peter Rabbit, I'm a little bit behind. Um I didn't manage to do my normal video for Tuesday 
because I had my first vaccine on Monday so I was feeling a little bit um, my symptoms tended to be like stomach flu so my stomach was really off and I also had a sore arm and yeah uh, yeah but um so i've been on with peter rabbit the last couple of days i seem to be um struggling a little bit with the uh embroidery and the radishes i've just got the last of the colors in the leaves to do and then i should be able to do a last clip so you guys hopefully we'll see a video tomorrow so tomorrow being saturday hopefully i will be able to finish that off today once i've done this video and then edit it and schedule it for you guys to see tomorrow once i've sorted out this floss tube but yeah so yeah stomach flu kind of symptoms from my covid jab so yeah that was my uh my side effects and sour arm and yeah all that fun stuff anyway i'm going to completely change the subject to haul um last end of last week um my husband took me to the range and we went to have a look and also i have had a couple of things that i ordered come in from amazon as well so i shall tell you where things are from and things like that but i have got a bag of stuff so first of all i shall show you these foam boards and that's what i've used for the aerial for the mermaid on the golden moon i put two of these a4 boards together and yeah and stuck it together so yeah they're now selling these a4 white foam boards um that i'm going to use to display things and you know rather than rather than uh, framing because framing can be quite expensive and sometimes you can't find the size you need and having to get bigger or yeah can't really go smaller with projects and things but these a4 foam boards and these were from the range they were 3.99 or they had an offer on it was any three packs for 10 pound so yeah 3 99 for a pack of five so that's that then i got some washi tape and this was on offer for 75 pence and the reason i got it was these thin tapes at the top that i'm going to use in my diary my journal that i use for my notes for my sunday whip and chat for my catch-up i write notes during the week and things like that and um i think it's an a5 diary that i've got it's um a day a page so i can um section the page off and you know i tend to write um what i've done in the morning i also write what i've had for lunch what craft i've managed to get done in the couple of hours in the afternoon what we've had for tea and then what i've done in the evening you know what um youtubers i've watched or if i've had chats with anybody or you know gone into certain people's lives and so i write all that kind of stuff down in there but um i don't i don't read all of it out um but it's just a bit of a um a notes um 
kind of thing so yeah i got this washi tape and yeah there's some of the uh thicker ones in there uh there's black tape with some white pluses on there's some with um kisses on and it says perfection beauty style grace elegance and then there's some with pink dots on there's some with hearts and then there's some more black tape with white spots on so i thought that was a really good deal then i have got one more thing from the range to show you guys but it's not stitching it's not floss related it's another hobby that i enjoy doing and it's a little diamond art kit it's a crystal creations um and it's a, a little puppy and it comes like it shows you on the back there it already comes on a wooden canvas you get the tray the pen and the pen that's in this is actually this one with the flower and the gem then the individual baggies some extra bags some wax so yeah that was a little kit i found i think was that 3.99 as well from the range so those were my purchases from the range so i shall share with you guys my amazon goodies that i ordered and received let me just double check the range receipt so oh the washi tape was one pound 25 the Pug, the dog diamond painting was $3.99 and the foam boards were $2.99. So yeah, just making sure I get the uh, prices correct. So, first of all, I got this big bag of threads and it's a hundred skeins and this was 8.99 um i've actually been into the bag to find a thread that i needed for the snow and sparkle so they did come a little bit better displayed than this but um yeah it's a, a zip bag and then there's another bag inside so i got a hundred skins and again from amazon then this one is 36 skins of dmc and um, they're also dmc numbered and these are as well the uh, dmc and i think that's 36 yeah 36 and i think i think this one was either 2.99 or 3.99 something like that and then lastly i ordered some black and some white thread it's a pack of 24 so there's 12 white and 12 black and i'm going to put some of the white ones for this away because i have the i think it's shannon christine's design it's the lace and roses or roses and lace and it asks for quite a few skeins of white I like to do the um lace effect and then you pick what color roses you want i think in the design there's red there's pink and there's yellow so yeah i believe it's a shannon christine design but those i think 
were three ninety nine, and then you get a seam ripper, a needle threader, a pack of four needles and some bobbins, some clear plastic bobbins. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I am not going to bobbin at them at all. I'm just going to, as I'm kitting up things, as I'm kneading the threads and stuff, then that's when I will uh, bobbin at them. But, yeah, all my... Uh, spare skins stems that i don't have bobbinated or in my case my bobbin case i just i have them currently stored in an old um tub like a one of the like the popcorn tubs um you know with the handle um it's just a, a smaller a small tub um that i just keep my um threads in but um i think that is everything um but yeah i am glad i have finally been able to display uh the mermaid on the golden moon i've finally been able to properly finish that off um because the event finishes at the end of this month so thank you very very much to cal's craft for hosting the anything mermaid along i've enjoyed taking part so thank you very very much cal i've loved doing the mermaid on the golden moon and I've done two diamond paintings as well, but I only entered one into the competition. Um, I did post that, that that I'd done another one on the group, but it it wasn't part of the uh, wasn't part of the event. It was just an extra an extra one that I did that I just thought I went that went with the theme. So anyway, yeah. Thank you again, Cal, for hosting that. I've really enjoyed taking part. Thank you very, very much. Um, but yeah, I think I've um I've covered everything with you guys. I've done haul project. Um, and yeah, I am ready. Uh, for everything else that's um due to start so yeah i'm ready and raring to go so yeah that is uh everything um yeah so that is everything for today guys everything for floss tube this week so yeah i shall uh see you guys in the next one so remember guys in a world where you can bet anything be kind. Bye, guys.